Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today we are doing another study strategies video. So for this one, I'm going to show you how I studied for my pharmacist provided care class, which is basically an OTC class, over the counter medications. So in that class, we're learning um, all the over the counter drugs, what you know, what drugs do what, uh, the dosing, all of that kind of stuff. So if you're in pharmacy school and you have like an OTC class or um, something like that, it's the same thing, just different name. Um, so basically, if you're in a class that requires a lot of memorization, you have to memorize the names of stuff. If you're in like a biology class and you have to memorize um, species and all that kind of stuff, this is kind of the similar techniques that I would use. Um, and so I'm just going to show you how I studied um, for this class. And I am filming this after I took the exam, so I did get an A on that exam, so I feel comfortable showing you how I studied. Um, and please don't take that as like I'm bragging about my grades. I just, I wouldn't make a video showing you how I studied for it if I didn't do well on the exam. You know what I mean? So um, I just want you to have confidence that these methods definitely worked for me. Um, and keep in mind too that I didn't do this like the day before the exam. All of these videos that I'm showing you for how I studied should be done like at least a week before the exam, if not, you know, weeks before. Now, let's be real, a lot of us don't do that weeks before, which we really should, but um, definitely a week before you should start doing this. So don't be like, oh, she showed me these great strategies. I'm going to do it the Sunday before my Monday exam. That's probably not a good idea. Okay, so just keep that in mind. These are done a good amount of time in advance. Um, but yeah, so this is how I studied for my pharmacist provided care class. Okay, so the first thing I do every single time for every single class is I go through the learning objectives provided by my professor. So for this class, she puts the learning objectives on the first slide of each PowerPoint. So I pull up the PowerPoint, I copy down the learning objectives, and then I go through the PowerPoint and I answer them. And I answer them as thoroughly as possible, and I know that can be annoying to write everything out, but that's really helpful. Um, and then if something is like not completely clear, I'll go back to the actual lecture that has the voiceover from the professor and I'll re-listen to certain parts of it just to make sure that I fully understand the concept. Um, and so while I'm answering these learning objectives, I will go through and really try to commit stuff to memory. So I'm writing out the answers right now, going through the PowerPoints. I'm really taking my time, um, really trying to memorize the information instead of just kind of mindlessly copy it down and not look at it again. Um, and then you'll see in a second that I also use my whiteboard um, and I'll kind of do these interchangeably. So I'll go through a PowerPoint and I'll get to a concept um, that I feel like I really need to memorize and so I'll switch out from the learning objectives and go to my whiteboard. So I'm not only doing one technique at once. I kind of alternate, you know, back and forth depending on what I'm trying to do, what the concept is at that moment, um, and what I need at that time. So don't feel like I'm, I do these in a very specific order because it's just kind of what I feel like I need to comprehend the material in that moment. So I try to speed this up a little bit, but all I'm doing is going through the PowerPoint and answering the learning objectives in that PowerPoint. So here I'm showing you that I have some drug cards that my school provides us. So basically they're like flashcards with all the information that we need to know pre-made so I don't have to write everything out myself on flashcards if I wanted to and they're super helpful. Obviously I can't show them to you because they're like my school's property but um, yeah so they have all the information that I need to memorize. So when I need to memorize stuff I get my whiteboard out. Um, memorization is not my favorite thing and I'm not good at it so I really need to work at practicing and repeating um, the, the process to memorize stuff. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to memorize some brand and generic names of different cough medications. So you can see I'm writing out um, Delsum, Robitussin, those are some of the brand names. So I'm writing them out repeatedly. Um, just to try to get them committed to memory. And so I do this for pretty much every drug, unless it's like one of the ones that I already know or it's just an easy one that I can remember easily. Um, I'll write them out over and over. Then I try to do some comparisons. So what I have right here is phenylephrine and pseudoephedrine. So two different medications um, used for a very similar purpose. And so what I do is I try to write them out side by side. Um, with their generic names, their dosing, and so that way I can really see it visually side by side what's different between them. Um, and a lot of times I'll also do it in different colors. So when I'm taking the test, I can kind of remember the different colors. 
but I'll categorize them in different ways too. So um, depending on what the medication is, I'll categorize them by um, if you can use them in pregnancy or um, what the dosing is or what the actual indication is. And then once I've gotten a lot of them committed to memory, I will try to go back and kind of mix all the drugs up to see how well I've really memorized them. So I'm not really showing that here. I'm just kind of showing another way I categorize stuff. But what I would do is I would write like six different drugs on the whiteboard. Okay, and then they would all be for different purposes. Like one could be a laxative, one could be for fever, one could be for pain, you know, whatever. And um, I will write out the brand name and then I'll write all the information that I need to know about it. So the generic name, the dosing, what it's um, indicated for, like what that drug is, is prescribed for, um, how it's applied, all that stuff. And I'll really try to test myself um, to see how well I really know those drugs. So mix them up because if you just look at them in that order on the, the paper that you have, you get used to it and then once you see it on an exam out of the order, it kind of freaks you out. So definitely mix them up and then also practice making questions that you think your professor could ask. So for example, a professor could ask, um, which of the following are indicated as laxatives, right? And so she could list like four different drugs. So you need to be able to look at the different drugs and say, okay, that's a laxative, that's a laxative, that's an NSAID, you know, blah, blah, blah. So you need to be able to regurgitate this stuff on an exam. So you can see here, I'm writing out, oh, these drugs are not for pregnancy, but you know what drug is okay for pregnancy for pain? Is acetaminophen. So practice questions are one of the best ways that you can possibly study for an exam. Okay, so that's all the ways that I study for my pharmacist provided care class. Hopefully, that helps you a little bit if you are in a class that requires a lot of memorization or if you're about to go to pharmacy school and you just want to get some techniques like ready, you know, before you go. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions or additional ways that you study for classes that require memorization, please leave those in the um, comments below. Um, if you like this kind of video, hit the thumbs up button just so I know that I should keep making these kind because if nobody likes them, I'm not going to make any more, obviously. Um, if you have any questions about anything, please message me on social media. Feel free. Do not feel like you're bothering me at all because a lot of people keep messaging me like, sorry to bother you. And I'm like, no, <laughs> you are not bothering me at all. Please, please please message me. Um, I love to answer your questions and I think that's it. All right. I'll see you in my next video.